So I want to help you save your marriage before you ever even marry. The number one thing that you can do is go to therapy. Get your healing. Heal your trauma and be whole for the man that you desire. So we're always so concerned about like, oh, he needs to have six figures. He needs to not take me to Cheesecake Factory on a first date. He needs to not have any outside children. And those things are like important. But what's going to happen when you meet the guy that has all his boxes checked, all his I's dotted, all his T's crossed? What do you have to offer him? Are you going to give him just a woman who can cook and a woman who looks good and a woman who's going to stay in the gym and, you know, knows how to dress and all that stuff, keep her hair done? Because that stuff is going to fade away. It's going to fade away and it's not going to matter in five years, probably. It won't matter. What you need to be able to offer him is a woman who is healed, a woman who has gone to therapy and who has done the work, a woman who knows who she is and a woman who knows what triggers her. She knows how she needs to heal. She knows how she wants to be loved, how she needs to be loved, how that needs to be communicated to her, and she's able to communicate it. Going into marriage, a marriage unhealed with unhealed trauma is only going to create more trauma. You need to do the work outside of the marriage before you even connect with someone else so that you're able to properly love this person and this person is able to properly love you you're able to allow that love to come because what marriage is going to do is it's going to expose it's going to shed light it's going to magnify those unhealed traumas those unrevealed things that you don't even know are there and it's going to cause strife because once the honeymoon phase is over and you get to the nitty-gritty of marriage and it the things that need to matter start to matter you're gonna need you're gonna need to be healed in order to get through that in order to make it to that 10 year mark that 15 year mark that 20 year mark so i encourage everyone like go go to therapy talk about those things um you never know what's going to come out in therapy because it doesn't have to be some big traumatic experience that you experienced in your life it could be just a bunch of small little things that have helped shape who you are today that have helped create the person who you are today and you don't even know it's only going to increase your potential so go to therapy learn yourself discover who you are and why you are get those insights become an insightful person so then you guys will be unstoppable as a couple in a marriage and the bond is only going to get stronger when you connect with someone else who is whole it'll be y'all against the world like for real and y'all be able to stand through it you'll you'll want to stand through it you'll learn you know the true meaning of love that it's not just the butterflies and the, the flowery words you know it's being there you know up praying for someone when they when they need it you know when they're struggling when they're having a hard time not abandoning them and you know it's 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 being there so go to therapy get healed and get married fall in love and be great together.